Hello everyone, and welcome to my 10th video. In this video, we will continue the Java and Competitive Programming series. Please keep in mind that the goal of this series is to go over general topics that are prevalent in almost all programming problems. The algorithms presented in this series are used extensively. They can be found in software written by a company, as well as in solutions to problems of programming competitions. Today, we will work on processing a dataset, in this case an array of integers, in order to print out the mean, median, and mode of the data. Let's get started. So I'm in the Eclipse application, but you can use any environment that you would like to. We can go ahead and create a class to solve the mean, median, and mode problem. I already have a created test project, so I'm going to go into the package and create a class. And I will name it mean, median, mode example. So right now, before we go ahead and, and look at the problem and try to solve it, I'm going to instantiate uh, an array of integers that can act as our data type. So I will call this data set, and I will instantiate it to various numbers. Uh, let's put in a zero and a negative in there. So this is our data set. What I'm going to do now is write some comments so that we can organize our code. So in this section, we will calculate the mean of the data set. Here we will calculate the median. And here we will calculate the mode. Space between there. So we're first going to find the mean of the data set. And let's quickly review what the mean exactly is. It's another name for the average of a set of numbers. So as you can see, our set of numbers consists of 1 through 5. If we add all the numbers in the set, we get 15. Then the next step is to find how many numbers are in your data set. In this case, it's 5. So then you take the sum of the, of the elements and you divide it by the length, which is um, 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. So our mean of our data set is 3. Um, talking from more of a computer science standpoint, the algorithm is very simple. You add up all the values in the array and store it in, in the sum variable. Then you would divide the sum by the number of elements in the array, and we can access this with array.length. Uh, and then we can um, use this division to find the mean. So we're back into Eclipse, and now we can write the code that will calculate the mean of our data set. So I'm going to start by declaring our sum variable, which will hold the sum of the elements. Now I can go through each integer in our data set using a for each loop. Um, then I will add each element n of our data set into this variable sum. Then, as the algorithm states, I have to divide the sum by the number of elements in our data set, which will just be data set.length. So in order to do this, I can use a print line and I will say the mean of the data set is put a space between there and I will use sum divided by data set dot length and uh, a little bit of um, error handling here this will just print out an integer uh, without the precise um, decimal floating points so in order to make this uh, accurate we can cast sum or data set dot length as a double uh, another trick is to just multiply uh, either of the um, variables by 1.0 and here's just cast it by a, to a double, but we can just do the normal casting. And now if we print out uh, our statement, we can see that the mean of the data set is negative 2.34319, some uh, decimal that is quite long actually. And um, it does make sense that it is negative because this is a um, greater magnitude than all the other numbers and it is a negative number so um, this one turn make the division negative now let's go on to calculate the median of our data set so finding the median is slightly more tricky than finding the mean of a data set essentially the median is the middle number in a data set but this middle number will definitely vary uh, according to the size of the data set whether the size is an even or an odd number so in this example, we have an unsorted data set consisting of the numbers 14, 12, 345, 32, and 29. The first step is to sort this data set in order to find an accurate middle number. Uh, so as you can see, the data set is sorted, and the middle number in this data set is 29. So that is the median. In our next example, 
we have an even number of elements, and this will cause a problem because the median, uh, because the median is a middle number, it needs to have an e an equal amount of numbers to the left of it as it does to the right of it. In this case, no uh, such number exists. So what we do is we find the two middle numbers and take the average of them. So the two middle numbers in this data set consisting of the numbers one through four are two and three. So we take the average of two and three and we get two and a half. So the median of this data set is two and a half. Um, the algorithm is pretty straightforward. Our first step is to sort the data set. If the length of the data set is odd, we will find the middle number. We can do this by um, using uh, the indices of the element and dividing and taking the length and dividing it by a factor. If the length of the data set is even, we will take the average of the two middle numbers. Uh, and this will be um, slightly more complex than, uh, than if the data set is odd, but it just requires um, a couple more lines of code. So now let's write the code that will calculate the median. Following the algorithm, we will first sort the data set. So we can use the um, sort method provided in the uh, java.util arrays library, and we will sort our data set. Um, the next step is to check whether the length of the data set is even or odd. So let's start with the easiest case, which is um, when it is odd. So we can do if data set dot length mod 2, if it is divisible by 2 and the remainder is not 0, then we print the median of the data set is and then we just call our data set and at the index of data set dot length divided by 2 and I'm going to change this uh, data set actually to make it more um, simple so we can uh, more easily see that it works. So let's change it to um, 4, 2, 1, and 3. So uh, we know that in, our, in the first step the data set will be sorted to 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and actually we had a 5 in there because I'm demonstrating the odd example. So it is sorted to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to find the median, we will take the length of the data set and divide it by 2. So if we do our integer division, we know that the length of the data set is 5. 5 divided by 2 in integer division is 2. So what is the uh, second um, index, or the index with value 2? What is that number? That's 0, 1, 2. It's 3. So, and that is correct, as there are two numbers to the left of 3 and two numbers to the right of 3. So if we print out uh, the median of the data set, it will show that it is 3, and that's correct. Now, uh, let's handle if it is odd. So, if it's not divisible, if it uh, has a remainder of uh, that is not 0, then that means it is odd. So, this else statement will be called. And this is how we will handle this. Um, we will first need to uh, find locate the two middle numbers and then take the average of them. So, this is quite simple, actually. So, let's just go ahead and copy and paste... Uh, this and we can call our data set data set that length divided by two so this will find the middle number to the right like the rightmost middle number so um, if I change if I add a six in here let's say right here this will sort the numbers um, as one one through six and let's look at locate the two middle numbers and that will be three and four so if we Look at the index, um, data set length divided by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 0, 1, 2, 3. The rightmost um, middle number is 4, and how can we find the leftmost middle number? Well, we just take this index and we subtract 1. So we can uh, copy this, let's put this all into a nice parentheses group, um, and we add this to data set that length divided by 2 minus 1 and to find the average of these two numbers we simply divide by 2.0 uh, again the reason 2.0 is included there is to automatically cast uh, uh, these values to a double so that we get those accurate decimal points now if we uh, run this piece of code 
we see that the median of the data set is 3.5, which is correct, because the two middle numbers are 3 and 4. If we add 3 and 4, we get 7. 7 divided by 2 is indeed 3.5. So that is how you calculate the median. So the mode is the easiest to understand, but the hardest to implement out of the three. The mode is basically just a number that occurs most frequently in the set. So in the set below, we can clearly see that 2 appears uh, many more times than the other numbers. So the mode is 2. The algorithm is shown. Uh, so we have two variables, one that holds a number and one that holds how many times that the number ap appears in the array. So through each iteration, we will um, have a, a new value in our variables. And basically, the whole point of the algorithm is that we compare each um, the number of appearances of each value to our previous record of appearances. And if the, if that appearance, uh, if the number of appearances exceeds um, the, re the previous record, we will make that number the new record and the number of appearances that it has as the new record for appearances. So um, this, is a, uh, this is an algorithm that will use double nested for loops and we will just have to keep track of uh, the record. So essentially through each iteration we will most likely have a new um, mode. And at the end we will figure out um, which number appears uh, the most times which will then be the actual mode of the data set. So a more comprehensive example is if we start with um, the first element, which is 1, we count that 1 appears 4 times in our array. 2 might seem like it's the mode because they're all bunched together, and um, but there's only 3 twos, and that does not exceed the previous record of 4, which is, belongs to 1, and the other numbers just appear once, so there is no new mode. So the mode of the data set is 1. So let's begin writing the code that will calculate the mode of the data set. We will first start by instantiating some variables. One will hold the max number, so uh, essentially the final mode of our um, data set. And we can just initialize this to negative one. Of course, this will change, and uh, we will not assume that our max number will just be negative one for no reason. Our next variable will hold the record of appearances, so we can also instantiate this to negative one. Um, the next step is to uh, start our double message for loop structure, and we will start. Uh, by declaring our variable i, our uh, loop counter, and this will be less than our data set length and i plus plus. And our next for loop, actually, we will instantiate one other variable in here. Um, this will be the current count of um, the number we are looking at. So the count will be zero, and in the next inner for loop, we will. Um, Use j as the counter variable. And what we have to do here is that we will compare uh, the value at index i with value at, at index j. And if they're the same, we will increment this count variable by 1 because they're the same number and we're trying to figure out the number of appearances of the current number we're looking at. So we can say it's data set i is equal to data set j we will increment count by 1. Now, we will say that uh, at the end of um, each iteration of the outer for loop, we will say, uh, hey, at the end of all of our, uh, at all of our appearance counters, uh, is it, does it exceed the previous record, which was max appearances? So we will say, if count is greater than max appearances, then we will set our um, our max number to data set i. Then we will also set, let me actually add the braces because we need two lines in here. We will set our max appearances to count. And through this process, through this uh, continuous uh, assignment, of um, the values um, to of the values max number max appearances, we will eventually find the most frequently occurring uh, value in our data set. So if we change our um, let's print this out first, uh, we're, we're going to change the data set value so it makes sense for us to see clearly what the mode is. Uh, we'll print out first the mode of the data set is and it will be max number. So let's go up to our data set and we can play around with these values. Let's put in 
couple of random stuff. And we'll make five our, our um, mode. Uh, so we have four twos, and it looks like we have five fives. So if we print out, we will see our mean, our median, our mode. So our, the mode of our data set is five, and uh, we'll trust that the mean of the data set is 93.8. It is a computer after all, so they're pretty accurate. And we'll trust that we wrote code accurately. And the median of the data set is also five which uh, usually makes sense. Uh, whenever a number uh, occurs far more times than the rest of the numbers, it will most likely be the, um, the median. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I look forward to continuing this series.